Video number three of the Mustang GT project. Got two coats of self-etching primer. I use this self-etching Marhide, which I don't think I'll use again. Got two coats of that on. I put two coats of Evercoat during build. I built a quick acrylic primer servicer on. A couple coats of that. Feeling any scratches in my bondo yet and whatnot. Probably spray a light guide coat of like black or something over it real light just to show my scratches and low spots a little bit better. I mean as my eyes aren't getting any better. Green primer you see on here is also self etching primer because I sanded a lot of the paint off on that. So. Doing all this with just a little three horse, 20 gallon sand borne air compressor. Really need something bigger, but it's all I got right now, so that's what I'm using. Let's see, I got that hooked up to my bigger compressor. Because I don't have 220 out here to use it. Plus, I burnt the pump up on it. So, I just got a hose running to it. So, I can get more air volume, air volume. So, I can sand a little bit longer and spray a little bit longer. But it takes like 15, 20 minutes to fill the damn thing up. That's my little airbrush. One of my airbrushes. Stud welder gun. This is great for pulling dents out. 100 bucks Harbor Freight. Well worth the money. Bought this Binks Model 7 off of eBay last week. 50 bucks with shipping. Can't beat it for Binks. Love these guns. Spray some nice paint jobs with those. And of course, I got a cheap Harbor Freight gravity feed. They spray all right, except they drip out of the cup up here. If you're holding it like that, and you got any paint that gets up to there, it's going to drip. So, I wouldn't recommend buying those. Video number four coming up soon. I'm not sure where I'm going to start. Probably on this door. Finish filling in some low dents and shit on the door. I got some rust on the bottom. I got to take care of down here. A little bit on the inside of the door on the bottom edge. I got to take care of. I also got some rust on the inside lip of this hatch. I gotta take care of yet. I'm gonna end up stripping all the paint off of this deck lid or the hatch lid, whatever you want to call it. This I'm just probably just gonna sand down because the paint seems like it's pretty decent on it yet. I'm not gonna get too carried away with it. Thinking of painting this black and maybe doing some realistic looking flames on it on the hood and the fenders just because I think it'd look cool and I need to practice more practice with the airbrush I might even put a couple skulls on it till next time
Mustang GT project video number four on the way.